Hello boys and girls, welcome back! I'm Storyteller Fahim, and today I'll be telling you a story. But before we start, you know what we have to do. We are going to sing the story time song. Are you ready? Let's shake our hands. And... It's story time today. It's story time today. Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. All right, boys and girls, let's start with the story. Once upon a time, deep inside of the Malayan jungle, there lived many, many animals. But there was this one animal in particular that was smaller than the other animals, but she was quicker and she was the smartest. Her name was... Sankanchil. Boys and girls, do you know what kind of an animal Sankanchil was? Well, Sankanchil was a mouse deer. And one day, Sankanchil woke up and ran through the jungle, saying hello to all of the other animals. Sankanchil ran to the trees where she saw these animals swinging from branch to branch. And they went, Can you guess what animals they were? They were... Orangutans! <laughs> and Sankanchil said hello to the orangutans. Every time she said hello, she sang. Hello orangutans, how are you? Hello orangutans, how do you do? Hello orangutans, how are you? It's nice to see you too. Hello orangutans, selamat pagi! After saying hello to all of the orangutans, Sankanchil ran to the pond where she saw these yellow birds flapping their wings, swimming on the water. And they went, wink, 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 wink. Can you guess what animals they were? Well, they were duckies. And Sankanchil said hello to all of the duckies. And whenever she said hello, she sang. Hello, duckies, how are you? Hello, duckies, how do you do? Hello, duckies, how are you? It's nice to see you too. Hello, duckies. Selamat pagi. After saying hello to all of the duckies, Sankanchil snuck to the deep, dark caves. And in the cave, there was sleeping one big animal. Now, this animal was really big, had orange fur with black stripes and really sharp, pointy teeth. Can you guess what animal it was? Well, this animal was the tiger. The tiger was inside the cave, fast asleep. And Sankanchil went to the sleeping tiger and said hello. And do you remember what Sankanchil did every time she said hello? She sang. Hello, tiger, how are you? Hello, tiger, how do you do? Hello, tiger, how are you? It's nice to see you too. Roar! Boys and girls, the big tiger woke up and it stared straight at Sankanchil. What should Sankanchil do? Boys and girls, if Sankanchil ran away, then the tiger would just chase her. Sankanchil had to be smart, but she had to be quick. Then Sankanchil had an idea. Instead of running away, she stayed right there and she started to sing. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. It's time to say good night. Boys and girls, the tiger started to close his eyes. The tiger's gonna fall asleep. Let's help Sankanchil sing the lullaby together so that we can put the tiger to sleep. Are you ready? One, two, three. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. Good night, tigers, go to sleep. It's time to say good night. Boys and girls, we did it. The tiger fell asleep. And Sankanchil ran far, far away. Boys and girls, in the jungle, there were also other animals that lived there together. I've got some of these animals with me, so let's see if we can guess what they're called. There lived this animal. Can you guess what animal this is? Well, this is called a pangolin. And pangolins have scales all over its back and a really long tongue. 
So boys and girls, let's stretch out our tongue as long as we can, just like the pangolin. And with its long tongue, can you guess what the pangolin's favorite food to eat is? Well, the pangolin loves to slurp up ants. I don't know what you're thinking. Ew, ants. But the pangolin loves ants. So let's slurp up ants together with the pangolin. Let's stick our tongue up and let's go. Mmm, ants. And after a long day of eating ants, the pangolin would curl up into a small tiny ball and fall fast asleep. So let's curl up like a small ball of pangolin and be as small and tight as we can and fall asleep. Very good. In the jungle, there also lived this animal. Can you guess what animal this is? Well, this animal is a tapir. And tapirs have a long rubbery snout. And with its snout, it loves to eat lots and lots of delicious fruits that it can find in the jungle. So let's have a look and see what we can find in the jungle. Boys and girls, look what I found. Can you guess what kind of a fruit this is? Well, it's yellow and really sweet and soft on the inside. It's a mango. And tapirs love to eat mangoes. So let's eat the mango just like the tapir. Are you ready? One, two, three. Um, nom, 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 nom. Look, boys and girls, I found another fruit. Can you guess what this one is? It's yellow and long and you can peel it. It's a banana. So let's eat the banana together with the tapir. Are you ready? One, two, three. Um, nom, 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 nom. Boys and girls, do you know what fruit this is? Well, it's green and it's shaped just like a star. Can you guess what fruit that is? It's got the word star in it. It's a star fruit. And the tapir love to eat star fruit. Are you ready? Let's eat the star fruit together. One, two, three. <laughs> the tapir and the pangolin both loved living in the jungle together. So next time you're in the jungle and you see any of these animals, you can remember what they're called. The tapir and the pangolin. In the jungle, Sankanchil also loved to eat. Can you guess what Sankanchil's favorite food was? Well, Sankanchil loved to eat the leaves from the jungle. Sankanchil found leaves from the trees, from the bushes, and even on the ground. And every day, Sankanchil ran through the jungle eating all of the green, green leaves. Every time Sankanchil ate, she sang. Makan, makan, sangkanchil, makan Daun kentumbar, daun popohan Sangkanchil, makan siang ke petang Supaya minda jadi cemerlang Let's eat all of the leaves we can find together with sangkanchil. Eat and eat, sangkanchil would eat The leaves from the bush and the tall spring trees Sangkanchil would eat from day to night so that she could be strong with might. Good job, boys and girls. Sankanchil ate all the leaves that she could find. After eating all of the leaves, Sankanchil went for a walk. She walked up the hill, she walked down the hill, and she walked and walked. She walked up the hill, down the hill, and walked some more. She walked up the hill, down the hill, and she stopped. There it was the big river. This was the biggest, widest river in the whole jungle. Sankanchil looked at the water. It was gray and choppy. It was really dark. She couldn't see anything below the water. But all the way on the other side, Sankanchil saw something. It was a new jungle. A new jungle with new types of trees. And on the trees, Sankanchil saw new types of fruits. Fruits she had never seen before. She saw jambu, she saw mangosteens, she even saw durians. Blub, 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 blub. Boys and girls, do you know what sound that was? Blub, 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 blub. It was Sankanchil's tummy. Oh, Sankanchil got really hungry looking at all of the fruits. But the river was far too wide to swim across. So every day, Sankanchil stared at the fruits at the other side. One day, the water started to bubble and it started to ripple. Sankanchil saw a dark shadow underneath the waters, and it moved side to side, 
and it started to bubble and it came closer and closer and closer and splash! A big creature came out of the water. It had green eyes, big green scales and sharp pointy teeth. And it looked straight at Sankanjil. Boys and girls, do you know what animal this was? It was a crocodile. But this wasn't just any crocodile. This was the biggest, meanest crocodile in the whole river. And his name was Sang Waya. Sang Kanchil, apa kabar? Nice to see you. Are you here to be my lunch? And Sang Waya opened his mouth as big and wide as he could. And Sang Kanchil saw all the sharp and pointy teeth. There were so many. Let's count them together. Satu, dua, tiga, snap! Satu, dua, tiga, snap! Satu, dua, snap! <gasps> Enough of your games, Sang Kanchil. Now it's lunch time. And Sang Boya tried to eat Sang Kanchil. But before he could, Sang Kanchil ran as far away as she could. Phew! Oh, that was close. Sang Kanchil almost got eaten. If Sang Kanchil wanted to eat the juicy and delicious fruits on the other side, she couldn't swim across. Sang Boya would eat her. She needed to be brave, and she needed to be smart. Sang Kanchil thought and thought and thought. When she had an idea, if Sang Kanchil wanted to eat the fruits and get to the other side, she needed to play a trick on Sang Boya. So, one day, Sang Kanchil went to the river and called out for Sang Boya. Sang Boya! Sang Boya! The water started to bubble and ripple. And there Sang Kanchil saw the same shadow bubbling and it moved from side to side. And it came closer and closer and closer and... Splash! Sang Boya came out of the water. Sang Kanchil, nice to see you again. I guess it's time for me to eat lunch. Uh... And Sang Boya opened his big white mouth. Wait! Don't eat me! I'm here to deliver a message. Yes, a message from the king. The Raja sent me. The Raja sent you? Why did the Raja send you? Well, you see, the Raja is having a grand feast at the palace, and he wants to invite all of the animals in the jungle for a big feast. And he's inviting me? Yes, yes, he's inviting all of the crocodiles in the river. And you're invited too, Sang Boya. Very well. I'll eat you now and eat the feast later. Ah, uh, wait! You see, I need to tell the Raja how many crocodiles will be coming so that there'll be enough food. You want there to be enough food, right, Sang Boya? I know you love food. There's going to be all the foods that you love. There's going to be rendang. There's going to be nasi lemak. And there's going to be lots of kueh. Sang Boya, I know you love kueh. Don't you want there to be enough kueh for all the crocodiles? Mm. Okay. But there's so many crocodiles living in this river. How am I supposed to know how many there are? I have an idea, Sang Boya. Call all of the crocodiles to come here. And so, Sang Boya called all of the crocodiles. Whoosh! He swam all the way to one side of the river. Crocodiles of the east, come to the river! Whoosh! And he swam all the way to the other side of the river. Crocodiles of the west, come to the river! Whoosh! Soon enough, all of the crocodiles gather around the river. There were all sorts of crocodiles. There were big crocodiles, small crocodiles, old crocodiles, and even young baby ones. Sang Kanchil had never seen so many crocodiles all in one spot before. She got a little nervous. <coughs> crocodiles, listen up. I have a message for you. There will be a feast at the palace and I need to count how many crocodiles there are. So I need all of you to line up from head to tail from this side of the river all the way to the other side of the river where the new jungle is. And all of the crocodiles, they lined up from head to tail. Whoosh! 
and Sankancho looked at the bridge of crocodiles in front of her. Now remember crocodiles, don't eat me! Boys and girls, Sankancho needed to jump on the backs of the crocodiles and count them one by one. Let's help Sankancho to count them together. Are you ready? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan. Sankancho jumped on the backs of the crocodile and she started to make her way across the river. Let's count the crocodiles together. Are you ready? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan. Boys and girls, Sankancho was almost at the other side. Let's count as fast as we can. Are you ready? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan. Sankancho is almost at the end. Get ready to jump together with Sankancho. Are you ready? One, two, three, jump! And Sankancho landed on the other side. Good job, boys and girls. Give yourselves a big round of applause. We made it! As soon as Sankancho reached the other side, she ran to the tallest hill she could find and looked back down at the river with all the crocodiles. Ha 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 ha! Terimakase, crocodiles! Thank you for bringing me to my new home and for crossing the river. What? You mean there is no feast? You played a trick on me, Sankanchil. Oh, I'm going to eat you now. But Sankanchil ran far away into the new jungle and found all sorts of new juicy delicious fruits to eat. She found this fruit. Boys and girls, do you know what fruit this is? It's purple on the outside green top and white on the inside and it's really sweet. This is a mangosteen and Sankanchil ate the mangosteen. Um, 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 um. Sankanchil also found another fruit. Can you guess what fruit this is? Well, it's red and green and really crunchy and sweet. It's a jambu and Sankanchil ate the jambu. Um, 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 um. From that day onwards, Sankancho lived happily in the new jungle, eating all of the new juicy delicious fruits that she could find. But in the river, Sangwaya was still waiting and waiting and waiting for Sankancho to come back so that he could have his revenge. Boys and girls, if you went down to the same river today, you would still see Sangwaya waiting for Sankancho. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening to the story. That was the story of Sankanchil's adventures. But before we go, let's sing the goodbye song. Are you ready? Story time is over now. Story time is over now. Story time is over now. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends, it's time to go. Goodbye friends, it's time to go. Goodbye friends, it's time to go. It's time to say goodbye. Bye! Don't forget to watch all of our videos on YouTube and to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Storytelling Center SG. Bye boys and girls!